Guys, it's no secret that I am a huge fan of 10 tennis, made in the USA by a guy named Walt right in Tennessee, hence 10 tennis. Uh, there is one of these, this is the first 10 tennis I bought. This is the 100 plus uh, watt version. There is the newer upgraded model of this above my house. That is one of my two HF antennas that is in my house. I love 10 tennis. This is the older version that came in the black case. This black case kind of melted in the Texas heat. So now they're coming in white cases, uh, but I absolutely love this antenna. Then he came out with this smaller antenna for portable. It's got a little BNC on there. There's a 140, 43 toroid in here. This thing works amazing. I've talked all the way to England, made some DX contacts with this thing with just QRP 10 watts in the 705. And now look at this guy. This is the newest in the line of 10 tennis. Isn't it so cute? <laughs> Hang on. Here's a Bofang for scale. I love this thing. Haven't, uh, haven't made it a uh, wire for it yet. Uh, but I want to crack this open. I want to see what's inside. I would suspect it's probably still a 140-43, maybe with smaller magnet wire or something, but very, very light. It's got the white uh, anti-melt in the Texas Sun uh, 3D printed case for it. And uh, it's like $33 on eBay. I'll leave a link in the description and you can pick these up. And uh, Walt, I hope you're ready because you're probably going to get some sales on these. All right, guys, let's crack this open, hop on the bench, then we're gonna go out to the field. I wanna make, I'm gonna do a linked uh, end fed with this. And I'm gonna use some soda beans wire. I'm gonna make a link for 17 meters and then a link for 20 meters and then 40 meters. So uh, I'll have three bands and if I wanna take wire off and stuff, but ah, I'm so excited, I'm just rambling. <laughs> let's crack this open, see what's inside. Do, re, Egon. So look at that thing, isn't that cute? That's not a 140-43. I don't know what this, what size that is. Maybe a 70-43. I'm just making numbers up here. But yeah, smaller gauge magnet wire. That's probably uh, 22 gauge, I would guess. Maybe 26 gauge magnet wire. And a uh, little resistor. I can't see what size that is. Uh, one, one kilovolt resistor maybe. And then a BNC and an antenna port there. And you're, uh, you're ready to rock and roll. So let's go make some antenna wire for this. All right, just like that, we've been magically whisked away to my uh, KNMRD Proving Grounds, AKA Huntsville State Park. And I've got, I basically brought my whole workbench with me as far as soldering is concerned, because uh, I'm gonna do all this out in the field. Not necessarily gonna show you every step, but I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. Hopefully you can follow along. There's plenty of videos on how to build an NFED half wave out there. Uh, but basically what I'm doing, I ran a tape measure 69 feet that way, and I rolled out 69 feet of wire. I then cut it at 69 feet. I then cut it at 27 feet, and I also cut it at 35 feet. So roll out a 69 foot piece of wire, cut it at 27, 35, and 69. Okay, you with me so far? Those are all about a foot longer than they need to be at least. And I'm going to use these carabiners to link them together. Now I'm only looping them through here temporarily. I'm eventually going to use some of these banana plugs and I've got some ferrules in here so I'm actually going to crimp a loop. This is just temporary. I've got them all linked up so basically this wire here is for 17 meters. There's another five or six feet here for 20 meters and then the 20 meter connects here and then this is 40 meters and I've left enough slack on here uh, so I can kind of trim them down and the idea is you want to link them all together first and actually set it up as you would deploy the entire antenna. I did uh, a linked NFED half wave before and I started with just the 17 meter element and then the 20 meter and then the 40 meter. And I found that as I added more lengths, I, I initially started with the feed point in this tree and then 17 meters just going up there with the mass. But then when I added the 20 meter element, I had to bring it over there. And 17 actually changed because it was at a different angle than I would normally have it uh, 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 deployed, big word. So being that I never really disconnect the wires in my NFED half waves, I, I, I will unlink them sometimes. Uh, I'm gonna do it as I would uh, always deploy it in its 40 meter fashion. So if you're only gonna have your 17 meter link connected and all the other wires are gonna be wrapped up somewhere, then do it 17 meters by itself, then do 20 meters by itself, then do 40 meters I mean, it'll consecutively get longer, but it, does that make sense? So I want all of the wire connected. I'm gonna set it up. I'm gonna lean it in that tree. I'm gonna take a measurement on 17 meters. I'm gonna cut it to trim. I'm gonna solder the banana plugs on there and all that, connect 20 meters and do it all over again. So we'll, uh, 
We'll see what happens when I'm finished. Here's the gratuitous, you can't see it, but we're gonna show it anyway in tennis shot. So there's the feed point in the tree, and the wire's going out way over here. I'm gonna try and get, you can see the links. So there's the link for 17 meters right there, okay? Let's get the blue sky in there, all right? And then we go another few feet, and there's the link for 20 meters and then going off to 40 meters and going off into the tree there with the uh, pole leaning in there, okay? So now we can check 17 meters, which as we can see looking at the Antscope app for the Rig Expert Stick Pro Analyzer, we're way long. We're 1.328 to 1 at 16.396 megahertz. So we need to cut probably all of that bit that's hanging off and uh, shorten it up a bit but looking pretty good so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim that. We'll check it again. And just like that, with a little bit of trimming, we can see that we are now about 1.47, 1.48 across the entire 17 meter band. When you're trimming this though, make sure you leave enough of that wire hanging off to, to link to the other wire. That's very important. Don't just cut it right to the end of the carabiner. You wanna leave that little bit of extra hanging chad, we'll call it. Now, I'm gonna put the ferrule on uh, add the B, uh, banana plug to both the 17 and the 20 meter elements and we'll put it back up for 20 meters. You gotta have a montage. And just like that, our 20 meter link is added. I'm gonna hoist it back up, cut it for resonance. I'm gonna add the 20 and 40 meter links together, and then I will come back and show you what the results are, and then we'll get on the air. Well, that could not have gone any easier if I planned it this way. Little bit towards the higher end of the band at 14.2975. We're looking at 1.19 SWR. Uh, right in the middle of the band at 14.175, we're uh, 1.23 to 1, so I mean, we're pretty awesome. 17 meters we already saw, but we're 1.47, 1.48 across the entire band. It's a pretty small band. Looking at 15 meters, 15 meter we're getting because of the 40 meter uh, length. We're a little high towards the upper end, around 21.450. Uh, we're 1.7 towards the top of the band, but we're uh, slightly under 1.4. At the very bottom, right in the middle, we're 1.5-ish, so uh, 15's looking really good. And 10 meters, we're looking fantastic. Uh, the whole phone portion, we're pretty much under 1.4 to 1. At 28.216, we're 1.09 to 1, so this thing's looking awesome. Now here's the cool thing about NFEDs. When this is linked and the, all the wire is connected, everything, 20 meters, we're looking at 1.10 to 1 at 14.189 and pretty much uh, under 1.3 to 1 across the entire band. That is awesome. Now all this talk about SWR and building antennas and stuff ain't gonna amount to a can of Frank's beans unless we can get on the air with this. Now, I'm an idiot and forgot to turn on the camera, but I've already made five contacts on 20 meters, one of which was into Spain. Now I'm on 40 meters, and I believe I hear someone familiar calling uh, Parks on the Air. So let's see who this is. Is that KM4ACK? Kilo 8, Mike Romeo Delta, Park to Park. Yeah, it's Kilo 8, Mike, Romeo, Delta, K8, MRD.
Roger, Roger, you're a four by three, four by three, park kilo, three zero one nine, three zero one nine. Roger, Roger. Yeah, Roger two nine five eight. Roger two nine five eight. I'm just QRP. QRP. Ten watts. Ten watts. Copy. Ten watts. <laughs> hey, we got Jason. That's cool. <laughs> In Tennessee, where this antenna's from. <laughs> That's great. Kilo Echo Eight. Echo Alpha Lima. Five, five. I got two uh, real life five three in Michigan. Five three Michigan. QSL. November three X ray Lima Sierra. There he is. QSL QSL three 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 Pennsylvania Papa Alpha QSL. Man, that was a tough one. The bands are in the worst shape ever. I forgot to hit record on the first five contacts I made. I finally made 10, took me about an hour and a half to do it. And I'm not gonna lie, the last two contacts, I hopped in the car and ran 100 watts on the 891. Uh, I, I just had to, the bands are so bad. But what a testament to the Tentenna's antenna. It works so well that even when the bands are dead, I still made uh, eight out of 10 contacts I needed to activate with just 10 watts. So uh, nice and fantastically resonant as I've come to expect with 10 antennas. Love the smaller form factor. This thing is a keeper for sure. It's $33 plus like seven bucks shipping. Uh, I mean, you got to buy the wire and stuff, but yeah, I, I listen, I love 10 antennas. Antennas, I think this is the fourth one I have now. So uh, I wouldn't be this giddy if I weren't excited about an antenna, guys. I've, I've, uh, <laughs> I've said it before, I say it again. 10 antennas are awesome. Go support Walt. Hit the like button, hit the share, subscribe, all that stuff. Follow me on Twitter at K8MRD, and I will see you again. Oh, yeah, I'll leave links in the description for all this stuff. Yes, that's a good thing to say. All right, guys, we'll see you again on another episode of K8MRD Radio Stuff. 73, guys.